everyone, this is Sasha bringing you a video tutorial today from BP for You. And today I'm going to show you how to use the Photo Merge tool so that you can create a composite photo that will be a lot of fun. And so it's really easy and I'm, I'm really loving it. So we're going to go up here to Enhance and Photo Merge and I'm going to select both of my pictures here, down here in my photo bin. So enhance and photo merge, and I'm going to do, um, you can pick from group shot, faces, scene cleaner, panorama, exposure, or style match. I'm going to go with scene cleaner here. I could have also done group shot if I had wanted to, and I would get um, a very similar or the same result. So right now it's aligning my images to decide how it should go ahead and merge them. So I'm just going to give it just a second here to, to finish. This tool is really great for all kinds of different, um, all kinds of different shots. It's not just these newborn shots, but you can do head swaps and you can do all kinds of really fun things. And it's so easy to use. It's the one thing I really love about Photoshop Elements is that the tools in Photoshop Elements are so simplified that anybody can do it, and you can do it so quickly aside from the loading menus which are taking a little bit longer than I thought but that's completely normal because it's um, Photoshop Elements way of making sure that everything's gonna look good Okay, now we're in business. So we get to pick which photo that we want to use as our base image. I'm just going to go ahead and I'll drag this one over and I'll use that one as my base image. So now I'm going to grab this photo over here and it's showing me my source. I'm just going to use this pencil tool to paint all around through there. And just watch what happens to this picture over here. It was that simple. Did you see how quick that was? Isn't that amazing? We can grab over here to clone out that other part of her arm there. And voila. It took us like two seconds to go ahead and do that edit. It looks absolutely wonderful. So quick to do. If I scroll over it, you can see here where the where I went ahead and I marked it. Um, if I would have needed to use the eraser tool, um, then I could have erased something and that would have brought back, um, that would have brought that back, but I, did, I don't want to do that. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to erase that again, but that's just to show you that, um, that you can do that. Now here we can show our regions and it's showing us you can see that we have these borders around our photo down here. And so where the blue is, it's showing me that it's pulling from this blue image right here. And where the yellow is, it's showing me it's pulling from this yellow image down here. And I can go ahead and turn that off. We have some advanced options if we want to use them. Um, if your photos aren't lined up, you can use the alignment tool. But Photoshop Elements did a really great job of going ahead and aligning this for me. Um, we can use this pixel blend if we want to. Um, it's very subtle. It just kind of gives it a little bit of a polished look here. If we want to go ahead and click that button, that's completely up to you. Um, once you're done, you just click done. And Photoshop Elements is going to work on stitching together these um, images to make the final flattened out image. And it's just that simple. 
Now I might want to go ahead and just clone right in here. And that's just because my images didn't quite line up perfectly. And that is fine. So we're going to watch how simple that that is. I'm going to alt click and I'm just going to run it up the side here. Again, I'm going to alt click and I'm going to run that across the bottom and I'm done. And so this was my before and my after. You can see that Photoshop kind of turned my picture around as well to make it match with that other one. And so my before and my after and um, easy peasy. Just go ahead and smush those together and I'm done. So thank you for watching this video tutorial. Happy editing!